Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and today we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Metasmart glasses. These are the transitions lenses. I got these uh, over a week ago, and I have quickly fallen in love with it. Um, for me, I usually wear a pair of glasses. You may have seen these. These are very thin glasses, and this is usually what I wear. And I, I like a lightweight glass. Like, I like this, and it just kind of works for me. So adding the weight of this, I was like, is this going to be a significant, like too much of a size and weight increase? For me, no. For me, this is working exactly as I want it to. Um, and I'm going to go into it a little bit more, but just as a pair of glasses, they are not obtrusive. They don't feel overly heavy. The sides where the battery and everything is, they don't feel like they're in the way. They just feel like glasses. And I really do feel like if you do choose to get them uh, and have a primary, get the transition lenses just because it's everything. That way you can wear it outside and inside and you're not limited to just having like a, you know, a pair of sunglasses just kind of like too dark to use inside. Because for me, I, I've begun wearing glasses as a style piece. I want to improve the way that I look. For the longest time, I was just like, I don't care. I want to be comfortable, but you know, I'm getting older. I do want to improve what I'm like wearing. I'm wearing jewelry, I'm wearing glasses, I'm wearing just things that kind of change uh, the way I'm perceived by others. And that's just a, a general thing. And a lot of people do this. That's why they have like the blue light lens version. Um, which could be a good option, but that also means you don't get the sun protection. Um, they also have dedicated sunglasses, but then you're kind of like, you can only wear it outside, and if you want to bring it inside, then you have to switch for a different pair, or else it's just too much sunglass. You're, you can't really see everything right. Um, but the one thing I do have to say is, I want them to release a transitions pair with the gloss finish. I am not the biggest fan of the kind of matte finish. I like the gloss of a Ray-Ban. I really do. I think it looks really nice. Um, and having these as non-gloss, I don't know. What do you think about them? Just imagine if these were gloss, what do you think would be better? That or this? But regardless, the transition lenses are where it's at. I think they look really good. And let's, let's pick them up here. This is what the side this is what it looks like. It doesn't really look like it's anything special, right? It just looks like it's uh, little stocks. And with this, I believe they say you can use this up for up to four hours. You can use it for more if you really don't do anything with it. But the one thing I have to say is I tried bringing these to a next game without the charging case. And I was like, I I'm going to record. I'm going to listen to music on the way there. And I did get done, but I did have to limit myself, and I ended up with about 15%. And when you hit about 12 to 15%, it won't allow you to record any more video footage. It'll say that it's like the battery is too low to do that, but at least you can listen to music. And you may be able to talk to it um, and using that, you know, that AI. So bring that case. You may want to wear this all the time, but if anything, you know, just take it out for a little bit and put it in the charging case, give it a quick charge and then put it back on. And then it's just good for, you know, on your way home, just put it back in the case and it will allow you to like use this all the time because four hours here, you can charge it up to eight times of that with the charging case. And what I really like is that this charging case, it looks like a regular charging, like a regular sunglass case, right? It just, like it looks like that. It's a little rigid because there's some tech inside and a battery, but look, you open this up, the little light goes on, it has that faux leather, but it looks really nice. That's the inside of it. And this is where the bridge, uh, the nose will fit right here Here's where the battery is. They've, they've done a lot to make this feel just like a nice product. For me though, I wanna be as minimal as possible, which is why I tried to walk around without this case. But for me, 
just kind of have to have to carry this. Maybe put it in a jacket pocket since we're going into fall and winter here. Uh, you can layer up and put this in. But I like to be as minimal as possible. One thing that I have not really um, thought of to do is that this has a button here to slide and just turn off the glasses. That means no smart AI, no music playing, no anything, and it just won't kill the battery. So if you want to just wear these as glasses, as sunglasses, and kind of just use them throughout the day without you know playing music or recording video, just turn them off for segments where you really want to save battery, just in case you do not want to bring the charging case. You always have that option. And for now, let's see, we're just gonna turn it off, swipe, it's off. You'll see a little red dot. Let's see if you can actually see that red dot. Yeah, you can see the red dot's exposed and it's just there. And now it's just a pair of glasses. That's literally it. Um, I did use these today and I made a separate video. These are IPX4 certified. Um, and that means they're good with splashes and light rain. I can attest I was using these outside and even recorded a video. They worked, I was listening to music the entire time and they still worked. It was light rain, but on a bike, so everything is kind of like going at you, but it did exactly what I needed it to. I'm very happy with this. Um, I do have a, so I got these at the Sunglass Hut. This pair here, I got these at the Sunglass Hut that is inside Macy's on 34th Street. And I did get the warranty and the extended warranty, not the manufacturer's warranty. Um, I usually don't do that, but, but this, I, I really like this and I really feel like it's something I'm gonna be wearing for a while. And it was just like, it was good because you pay 50 bucks and then if this breaks for whatever reason, like you being an idiot, not just uh, manufacturer defects, um, you can get a replacement pair for $100. And for me, this makes sense because this was a 380 plus tax dollar item because I got the transition lenses. I think this starts at 299, but the transition lenses adds $80 to this. Um, I thought that, yeah, this is actually worthwhile to get the extended warranty on. And I'm glad I did because it just works. And by the way, the extended warranty is not available at official Ray-Ban stores. It's just available at Sunglass Hut. So think about where exactly you're going to buy this. But for me, I think I have found one of the most usable devices for me. Um, all in all, I, I just, I think it packs everything into a nice, solid, just usable device. It plays music. The music sounds really, really good. What I strangely found was if you are wearing a beanie and it's gonna be beanie season here and I was wearing it outside and you kind of put it over and this kind of like goes over the sides, this is where the sound, this is where the music is gonna be coming. So if you put this over, it enhances the sound, makes the bass bassier and just makes the music just feel better. But as nothing's being inserted into my ears, these sound great. I'm able to kind of um, do a new thing while I'm working, answering emails. I just put on like um, ESPN in the background and it just plays. It's not really getting, it's not getting in anybody's way. Nobody can hear it and I'm not wearing earbuds. So it doesn't look like I'm trying to keep myself separated from people and that just really works. And the touch controls do exactly what they should. You know, you're gonna tap or swipe back and forth to play with the, uh, the music, pause, volume up, volume down, uh, next song, previous song. That just works like a dream. We're gonna turn these back on because I wanna show you the little security light on this. So I'm not sure if you can see, but there's this little tally light right in the inside here, which I can actually see. And that really helps because it shows me that this is connecting to Bluetooth or I'm recording video, or I took a picture. And let's see, I turn it back on, it says battery at 67%. I was using this outside, I recorded a clip, I was listening to music. It's doing exactly what I needed to. But okay, let's look and see the privacy issues with anything that's like this that records. The, now I always forget which one this is. One of these sides has a little tally light. 
So if I press this and I've changed this because originally when you tap, it's supposed to just take a picture. And if you long press, it's supposed to take a video. But I like that they, are allow, they allowed us to swap that. So just a tap begins a video. Long press is a photo because for me, I'm really more about the photo, sorry, more about the videos. I want those clips for Instagram. I want those clips to be recorded. I want whatever I'm looking at to, to be recorded to be, to happen in as little time as possible. So let's show you. So right now I heard a little noise. I see my tally light and you can also see this light that is pulsing here. That means that it is recording. And also I always forget, but that means that this is the camera side here. So that is the camera. That is the tally light. And that's just what it looks like. And then we stop. I hear a sound. It definitely has stopped. And now we're going to take a picture. Now, I think the shutter is a little bit slow in not the shutter speed, but actually taking a picture. I long press, even just tap press, it kind of makes like a bup bup, and then and I can only hear that. You can't hear that, I don't believe. Um, but that means your person, your pet, your whatever is going to have to stand still pretty, pretty long time just because holding. Now it finally took the picture. I pressed, bup bup, click. It seems to take a little bit longer than I would like it to. I'd like it to be instant shutter immediately, but it's noise and then shutter. And I just think because it's not always recording, it has to kind of prime itself and get ready to take a picture just to kind of work. But there are like little nitpicks that I have here. Like um, you have a 60 second recording time. I want that to be unlimited until I kill the battery. I really want that. Um, not sure if we'd have any overheating issues because you can also do, I think up to 30 minute live streams to um, Instagram, but I did that. And the quality that I got back, at least from where I was, it wasn't the best. Um, I had spotty coverage here in Midtown, but of course there's so many buildings, there's so much stuff blocking cell coverage that I can, I can kind of see that. But lower Manhattan, I was able to record, but still it was, it was not the best quality. It was a little bit choppy, and I, was, I had the ability to save that clip um, to, for later use, but the clip itself just wasn't that good. It wasn't the original quality. I want that original quality for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Just give us five minutes as a solid clip. People would love that. I would love that. 60 seconds is amazing. Like 60 seconds is a very long time, but I would just like more. I think these can do more and I don't think they would overheat because I've never felt them overheating at all, even while doing the Instagram live stream, but give me some more time. We would really like that. And I think you can easily do that with, um, with just a software update. But guys, this is the first like part of the review. There's going to be so many more uh, pieces they will touch on later on with this because I really have adopted it. I've liked it a lot. I think it's something that's going to stay with me for the, for this, for just going on now. But yeah, put every question, everything in the comment section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram and threads at M8B9. You can email me at creativenyc2023 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you next time.